Hello my soccer universe. Well, with no soccer being played currently, um, I think many want to watch classic games and I decided okay let's watch, let's look at some games in the early days of the Champions League and a little bit before that that might be actually worth watching. Personally, I rather would watch documentaries about an entire season than re-watching entire games. Um, for the simple reason that once I know the result, um, there's something lacking to me, but I know that there were lots, but lots of exciting soccer in the 1990s. Um, basically, I want to call the Champions League classics, although the first few that I will say is uh, definitely the old European Cup. And I'm wearing my first ever club jersey, which is the Milan jersey in 1991. Yes, they did not win it this time, but they were defending champions, so they had this nice little uh, trophy here. And I think it's the first video I'm doing in this classic shirt with Mediolanum sponsor. Uh, still one of my very favorite shirts that I have, although it has a few flaws on the back. Meanwhile, you know, I had cat that pulled some stuff out. Anyway, let's start. I want to go chronologically. I want to actually go from the from '89. To 99 and then we'll do the next time 2000 to 2009 and then 2010 to 299 I'll do this like in videos and then we can do the same thing for World Cups maybe we'll do like one Friday Tuesday Friday Tuesday or something like, like that like I did my regular what to watch but this time around it is classics so this is what to watch Champions League classics and I have the Wikipedia page up although most of them I know uh, for the 88 89 season I think there's only one match to go and that is the return leg of the semi-final Milan Real Madrid uh, this was the big clash where many of us said this is where the title will be decided the other semi-final was Steaua against Galatasaray I think also the final is not worthy uh, because I don't think ever there were so many fans of just one team at a European Cup final than it were in those. But Milan, Real Madrid, I think both legs are worth watching. The one that everyone does remember is of course the return leg uh, in Milan. The only weird thing I find in there is that Real Madrid was playing in purple against Milan. That just doesn't <laughs> look right to be honest. Uh, in the 89-90 season, um, there was the first final that I actually watched, which was the, the first European Cup final or match even that I watched, which was the final. And I'm not going to say the results in here, uh, kind of on purpose, because, you know, if you haven't seen those, you can look them up on YouTube maybe, and you might be excited about that. I think the semi-final between Milan and Bayern... Um, especially the return leg could be something absolutely worth watching. I also think that the other semifinal between Perfic and Marseille was a good one, but I think Milan Bayern, this was also probably the two best teams at that point going head to head. Earlier Milan had defeated already Real Madrid, um, so kind of Milan was the defending champion, was the big team in there. So. That might be one to watch. Then 1991, again, it's not the final. The final was boring as hell in this one. But here, there's the semi-final, very famous semi-final. Uh, one of the craziest that you will ever see. Red Star Belgrade against Bayern Munich. I think both games are worth watching. Uh, the first one, uh, because Red Star Belgrade really showed uh, Bayern that they are a great side, but the return leg for the sheer drama that was happening in there. Uh, an absolute must watch one. Some of the best soccer that has been played in the 90s was in that semi-final. Absolutely worth watching. I remember, I couldn't see this, but I, I remember that everyone was um, talking about this at school. And, and so this was just an amazing uh, match. And I read afterwards, this is one of the best semi-finals over two legs that you will ever see. If you don't know the result, this is one definitely worth watching. Even if you do know the result, I think this is definitely worth watching uh, there. I also want to point out there was a semi-final between Milan 
and Marseille that was very contentious and also won uh, that was on the same final quarterfinal and also between Spartak Moscow and Real Madrid which had uh, the second leg might be interesting 91, 9, 92, I honestly, I think the final was a good one, uh, but it was very, very tense and it went to overtime, it took a while. I actually think that some of the best games were played in the qualifying round. This was the first time that the uh, European Cup had this group stage, which actually um, was kind of a replacement for the quarterfinal and it, there were two games in the fall and then four games in spring and then only the uh, group winners could go on so kind of different than nowadays when we get the all group stage already from september to november so uh, you had the um, qualification for this quarterfinal this was played in october and i have to say this was one of the craziest uh qualifying stages barcelona kaiserslautern uh especially the return leg absolutely worth watching i see there was many that were kind of close i think there was um um Hanvet against sampdoria was relatively close um i think over two legs but i think uh, barcelona kai kaislatan beats it for sheer drama uh bar none in the group stage i think the first game between sampdoria and red star belgrade was a good one and of course i think the final I can recommend. Uh, 92, 93, again, I think it's more the qualifying rounds that I can talk about, uh, especially the Stuttgart Leeds United stuff. Um, they, also they also played over three games because of a big error. Uh, absolute crazy stuff happening there if you haven't seen it. Um, also, then the second qualifying round. Um, CSK Moscow against Barcelona might want to look into that one because you might not expect something and I remember a pretty good return like between Club Bruges and Austria Vienna uh, was also that and maybe for British fans Rangers against Leeds maybe maybe uh, in the group stage itself I have to say Milan was so dominant that the group B matchups were not that crazy um, Milan against Göteborg notable uh, for individual achievement by Van Basten. I think that's one. And I think Marseille Rangers were kind of close -ish. but you know, I don't remember those being as good games. I remember the final, uh, you know, it was a big disappointment for me, of course, but um, final was not a great game. Overall, was Marco Van Basten's last game, though. 93, 9, 94. I think there's only one game that I can recommend, and it's the final. Watch the final. Most dominant performance that I have seen uh, and have in mind it was the outsider that was dominant here so an absolute must watch this was probably one of this is still my favorite final of all time um, I think in the build-up I don't remember not that many great games from the group stage and even in qualification um, I remember a crazy goal and Barcelona played Austria Vienna in the qualifying round. I mean, Austria Vienna acquitted themselves very well in Barcelona, but still lost 3 0. And then um, Barcelona took a quick lead in Vienna, but then Andy Ogres made a goal for, for the ages with a back heel against uh, Barcelona, which was basically the claim to fame. Um, but in its, ah, yeah, there was one crazy game between Werder Bremen and Anderlecht, the home game for Bremen. That one, I remember. Uh, watch that one. Um, I also, th yeah, the Porto Bremen was also not that bad, and I think the Bremen home games Milan was also uh, a good one. So you know there are, there were some, but I think it's the final that overshadows everything. 94, 95 um, in the group stage, uh, the PSG Bayern matchups, uh, especially PSG home, was an interesting one. Um, you had a Barcelona Manchester United game that uh, definitely worth watching both of these. I I would say um, Ajax Milan definitely worth watching. But if you really want to see Ajax playing great, um, so this was group stage. Ajax Milan was the semi final. Ajax Bayern the second leg. I think for an overall great picture, uh, Barcelona PSG 
in the quarterfinals. That was a great, absolutely great matchup. Uh, let's go 95, 96. Um, I think the standard tie from that one was Ajax's um, away game to Real Madrid. That was that's one to watch absolutely i think this is a game for the ages and you will not ever see this was kind of the last big glory moment for of an ajax team um when i look at the knockout stage it was, it was real madrid against juventus i think the return like both legs were uh, kind of tightly contested um the final i think was all right i have to say but yeah uh, i think this pretty much summarizes up uh, 95, 96, 96, 97. Uh, let me just go through. Um, there were two Juve United matchups that are definitely uh, worth your time because those were, this was not United just getting a foothold for the first time kind of in the Champions League and Juve being an absolutely dominant uh, team. So th uh, for that reason, it was kind of in interesting. There was of course also um, United's home games against Fenerbahce, which was a historic game, I uh, have to say. Uh, the matches between um, Atletico Dortmund could be worth your time then, of course, Milan's home game against Rosenborg might be interesting uh, to you. Um, and in the knockout stages, I have to say uh, Ajax Juventus very dominant, especially the return leg from by one team. But I think the game that was had lots of excitement was the return leg between Ajax and Atletico. That one, I remember this was an absolute uh, great game to watch. That had me on the edge of the seat. Uh, 97, 98. Let's see what I can tell you about that one. Um, yeah, that was a weird season. This was the first one with six teams. Uh, if you want to see, watch the uh, Leverkusen Mon Mon Monaco the last 20, 10 minutes or so. It was ridiculous. Um, I have to say, I have a hard time telling. I think the one is probably the first match Real Madrid Borussia Dortmund, but uh, for what happened before that game. Uh, the Bayern Dortmund matchups are tightly contested, but not all that great. Uh, so there was nothing really in the knockout stage. I'm afraid that I can that I find notable. Let's see what else. Was there anything in the group stage? This was this this was a really really weird season. Although it sounded so great from the get go, but I think the United again the United um, Juventus matchups probably worth your time and whatever Newcastle did in that. Yeah. Maybe whatever Newcastle did in, in there. I know Barcelona was wearing really weird jerseys there. Now, a season that is really weird. And then the last one, 18, 98, 99. I know. Most will say, yeah, the final, the final, the final. Um, I actually want to say this was one of the worst finals that I've seen. Uh, definitely in the bottom. 3 4. It just had the ending the ending that's why it's special but other than that i don't think it was a great final uh this was the second season where we had six groups um again there were bayern munich manchester united group stage games also with barcelona in there that were interesting um i'm looking now we have of course manchester united juventus i think both legs great and also the second semi-final between dinamo kiev and bayern munich especially the first leg the second leg forget about the first leg absolutely great game worth your time if you need it well that is my recommendations for matches that you can watch if you uh find them you you youtube or wherever I th i'm sure they're out out there there's some great matches in there um especially if you know i remember those watching live so if you haven't seen those and you don't know don't look up the results i think they are totally worth your time uh watching i tried to keep it as uh to keep the suspense as possible let me know which games you think are worth watching from that period if i've forgotten anything give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.